When it comes to the world of motorcycles, plenty of brands have staked their claim as the premier offering. However, according to many around the globe, one name stands alone at the top of motorcycle royalty, Ducati. It is a name now synonymous with the pinnacle of motorcycle engineering. But behind this storied brand lies a story rooted in humble beginnings. It's a tale of family unity, of shared dreams, and a relentless pursuit of excellence. While many leading motorcycle manufacturers had the financial backing of billion-dollar corporations, Ducati had a slightly different upbringing, and it was all made possible by three brothers, Adriano, Marcello, and Bruno Ducati. The city of Bologna, Italy, known for its vibrant culture and historical architecture in the early 20th century, served as the backdrop for the beginning of the Ducati legend. It was here, among the intertwining lanes and bustling piazzas, that the Ducati family found a profound passion for machines and engineering. Bologna buzzed with life and innovation, and the Ducati household was a microcosm of that very spirit. From a young age, it was evident that the Ducati siblings weren't like other children. Instead of spending their time playing games or trivial pursuits, their hearts and souls were captivated by the allure of machinery. Their home resonated with the sounds of tiny engines being tweaked, tools clinking, and discussions about the next big invention. Their father's workshop was their sanctuary, their classroom, their world. Within its walls, they not only discovered the joys of mechanics, but also the values of hard work, dedication, and dreaming of something greater. And as the years rolled by, these dreams began to take a concrete shape, paving the way for a legacy that would forever change their world and the world of motorcycles. The Ducati brothers, under the tutelage of their father, Antonio Cavalieri Ducati, were forging a path of their own. Their workshop, with its wooden benches and walls lined with tools, was a treasure trove of wonders for Adriano, Marcello, and Bruno. Their days were infused with the scent of fresh metal and the tantalizing whir of mechanical devices. Adriano, with his ever-curious eyes, often sketched imaginary contraptions on scraps of paper, dreaming of machines that could soar through the skies or explore the depths of the ocean. Marcello, with a magnifying glass perpetually tucked behind one ear, would meticulously work on assembling tiny components, believing that even the smallest cog had its role in the grander scheme of things. Bruno, the youngest with a head full of wild curls and an even wilder imagination, would constantly entertain them with tales of their inventions coming to life, conquering terrains, and winning races. Their father's workshop was a realm of endless possibilities. Here, broken radios transformed into advanced communicative devices under Adriano's touch. Marcello, with his practical prowess, found ways to improve household appliances, making them faster, better, and more efficient. And amidst all of the clutter and clatter, Bruno, with his infectious enthusiasm, often persuaded local children to test out their latest creations, turning the alleyways of Bologna into impromptu testing grounds. The Ducati brothers were inseparable, each one's strengths complementing the others. Their shared adventures, the little triumphs, and even the occasional disasters only served to strengthen their bond. As they grew, so did their ambitions. The workshop that once felt endless now seemed too small for their expansive dreams. The brothers realized that to make a mark on the world, they would have to step out of their sanctuary and embrace the challenges of the real world. And as fate would have it, the world was more than ready for the revolution they were about to set flame to. It was almost uncanny how the personalities of the three Ducati brothers worked in tandem to create a force to be reckoned with. Each of the three brought something both unique and extremely valuable to the table in their endeavors. What could seem like a work of fiction was very much real, though, and all three of their distinct personalities and gifts added to the power of the trio. Adriano Ducati, the visionary. Adriano, with his piercing gaze and contemplative demeanor, was the dreamer and the scientist of the trio. Where others saw obstacles, he envisioned opportunity. He often found himself at the city's bustling markets, observing people, their needs, and their desires. To him, every conversation was a clue, every observation a potential blueprint for the next big thing. 
With a notebook always in hand, he'd constantly scribble down ideas, imagining ways to merge the worlds of practicality and innovation into something incredible. Marcello Ducati, the pragmatist. Then there was Marcello, the bridge between Adriano's dreams and reality. He had an innate ability to see the world through the lens of feasibility. While Adriano dreamed big, it was Marcello who would sift through the dreams, picking out the ones that could be realistically fleshed out. With steady hands and an analytical mind, he would dissect problems, often spending hours, even days, lost in thought until he found a solution. His workbench was a testament to his methodical nature. With every tool and component perfectly organized, ready to breathe life into Adriano's imagination, Marcello was also the most personable of the group, and in later years in Ducati's journey, he would become the public relations manager. Bruno Ducati, the innovator. Finally, there was Bruno with his infectious lust for life. He was the wild card. His restless energy was always on the lookout for the extra in the ordinary. Bruno had a knack for infusing a touch of magic into everything, be it a new design or an everyday task. While Adriano provided the vision and Marcello the structure, Bruno added the flair. He wasn't just content with creating something functional, it had to have a soul, a personality. It was Bruno who introduced the idea of aesthetics into their designs, ensuring that a Ducati product was not only efficient, but also a piece of art that would serve as an extension of the consumer's personality. Together, the Ducati brothers were a force to be reckoned with. Their combined strengths vision, pragmatism, and innovation created a synergy that was unparalleled. Each project they undertook was a dance of their unique skills, and as the days turned into months and months into years, it became clear that these brothers were destined to leave a legacy that would echo through the annals of motorcycle history. The start of the 1920s was marked by rapid technological advancements, and the world seemed to be in a race to create the future. Italy, with its rich history of art and innovation, was no different. And amidst this renaissance of modern thought and design, the Ducati brothers saw an opportunity. In 1926, pooling their resources and driven by their shared ambition, the trio, along with their father, Antonio, founded Societa Scientifica Radio Brevetti Ducati. Contrary to what many might assume, the brothers didn't set out to make motorcycles immediately. Instead, their initial focus lay in producing technology for the burgeoning field of radio communication. Their foray began with a series of capacitors, transformers, and other radio components. Bologna's residents soon saw the Ducati name etched on the radios that connected them to the world, an emblem of quality and innovation. The Ducati workshop became a hub of activity, with the hum of machines and the bustle of workers crafting components that were quickly gaining recognition throughout Italy. The business grew rapidly, and pretty soon, the three brothers took their business internationally, shipping their products overseas. By the early 1930s, the Ducati brand became so successful that they received the Rusconi Prize gold medal and were named the best company in Bologna. In less than 10 years, the brothers had seen an operation that started with two employees skyrocket to over 7,000, with subsidiaries in places like England, the United States, and Argentina. However, as always, the winds of change were unpredictable. As the 1930s drew to a close, the dark clouds of World War II began to gather over Europe. The ensuing conflict would test the world of nations and individuals alike, and the Ducati brothers certainly weren't immune. The Ducati factory, which had by then expanded significantly, became a target during the war. Bombings in 1944 left it in ruins, but the spirit of the Ducati brothers proved to be unwavering. As the war ended, and Europe embarked on a journey of reconstruction, the brothers faced a pivotal decision. With their original factory in shambles, they had to reinvent their brand and adapt to the post-war Italian market's needs. It was during these trying times that the brothers shifted their focus to the transportation industry. Italy, like much of war-torn Europe, desperately needed affordable and efficient modes of transportation. Recognizing this, the Ducati brothers ventured into producing engines for bicycles. 
Their first creation, the Cucciolo, was a small engine designed to be mounted on bicycles, effectively transforming them into makeshift motorcycles. The Cucciolo was an absolute sensation and serves as another testament to the Ducati brothers' resilience and ingenuity. From the spark of the Cucciolo, the flames of Ducati's motorcycle legacy were ignited. The brand that had once been synonymous with cutting-edge radio components was now on its way to becoming an icon of the motorcycle world. The journey of Ducati as a motorcycle manufacturer had truly begun. The post-war era, with its challenges and uncertainties, was a hurdle that tested the resilience of many. Italy was grappling with the complicated job of rebuilding, and among the debris and memories of a war-torn nation, the need for reliable and economical transportation was paramount. With the success of the Cucciolo, it was evident that the future of Ducati lay in two wheels. But this new avenue was not without its own complications. Firstly, the competition was fierce. Europe and Italy in particular witnessed a surge in brands attempting to capitalize on the motorcycle boom. Companies with longer histories in the motorcycle arena, such as Benelli and Aprilia, presented formidable challenges. How could the Ducatis, newcomers to this sector, carve a niche for themselves? Secondly, there was the challenge of evolving from the Cucciolo. While the engine had been revolutionary in its own right, the market was rapidly evolving and people wanted more than just a makeshift motorcycle. They desired machines that resonated with style, power, and personal identity. Bruno, with his inherent flair for innovation, spearheaded the design division. He believed that a Ducati motorcycle shouldn't merely be a mode of transport, it should be an extension of the rider's persona. Meanwhile, Adriano recognized the potential of racing as a platform to showcase their machine's prowess. Marcello focused on streamlining production and ensuring that every motorcycle that rolled off their assembly line was of impeccable quality. Their combined efforts bore fruit in 1950 when Ducati introduced its first complete motorcycle, a 98LB machine powered by a Cucciolo engine. With its sleek design and unparalleled performance, it was an instant success. The brand's reputation grew quickly and so did their ambition. The 1950s and 60s saw Ducati firmly establishing itself in the world of motorcycle racing. Their bikes, with their distinct roar and unmatched speed, became a force to be reckoned with on the racing circuit. Each victory on the track translated to soaring sales figures and an ever-growing fan base. But it wasn't just about selling motorcycles. It was about selling a dream, an experience. The Ducatis opened dealerships and service centers, ensuring that their customers not only bought a motorcycle, but became part of the Ducati family. As the decades rolled on, challenges came in various forms. Economic downturns, technological shifts, and changing market dynamics. But the Ducati brothers, with their unwavering commitment and passion, turned each challenge into an opportunity ensuring that the Ducati name not only survived, but thrived, becoming synonymous with excellence in the world of motorcycles. The mosaic streets of Bologna, rooted in centuries of art, culture, and innovation, became the home of another masterpiece, the Ducati brand. As the 20th century progressed, the name Ducati grew beyond just being a motorcycle manufacturer. It became a symbol, an emblem representing passion, design, and the relentless pursuit of perfection. Racing circuits across the world echoed with the unmistakable roar of Ducati engines, each victory testament to the engineering prowess and vision of the Ducati brothers. However, beyond the tracks and the thrill of speed, Ducati's impact was profoundly felt in the broader culture of motorcycle enthusiasts. The Ducati community absolutely exploded. Clubs dedicated to Ducati owners sprouted worldwide, bringing together people from diverse backgrounds united by their shared love for the brand. Rallies, conventions, and meetups became commonplace, turning motorcycle riding into a communal experience. Each ride, each journey, became a narrative with Ducati at its heart. Fashion, too, felt the Ducati influence. The brand's signature red, the sleek designs, and the unmistakable logo started appearing on apparel, accessories, and even in popular culture. Films, 
Music videos and advertisements showcase Ducatis, cementing the brand's position as a cultural icon. But beyond the commercial success and cultural impact, the true legacy of the Ducati brothers lay in their unwavering commitment to innovation and excellence. Their journey, from a small workshop in Bologna tinkering with radio components with their father, to a global motorcycle powerhouse, inspired countless entrepreneurs and dreamers. Decades after the Ducati brothers first embarked on their journey, their legacy lives on. Every Ducati motorcycle, as it zips across winding roads, tells a story. A story of three brothers, their dreams, and their unstoppable spirit that forever changed the landscape of motorcycle history. Today, Ducati isn't just a brand or a motorcycle. It's an emotion, a legacy etched in steel, rubber, and thunderous engines. Each motorcycle, with its sleek design and unmatched performance, carries with it the spirit of the three Ducati brothers. As riders across the globe rev their Ducati engines setting forth on new adventures, they do not ride alone. They ride with the spirit of the three brothers from Bologna, who dared to dream, who dared to challenge the status quo, and in doing so, left an indelible mark on the annals of time. The story of Ducati is not just about motorcycles, it's about the human spirit, the will to achieve, and the drive to create something eternal. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on another one. Until next time.